no section azimuth. Consider that the normals to the ellipsoid at two different points are skewed. It means that they are they do not intersect or they cannot be in one mathematical plane. Now consider that we have a normal at point A. Now if we have a vertical vertical or normal plane which can contain only the normal to the point A, and this this plane intersect the ellipsoid, we obtain a curve. Well, the intersection will be a curve, which I have shown it here by blue color. The second step consider that I have a vertical or normal plane containing the the normal at the point B. And if this plane go to the point R as well, we will have another normal section. And obviously these two normal sections do not coincide. Now the point is that what will be the azimuth of these normal sections? On the right side you see the azimuth to the normal section from point A to B, and also the azimuth from the intersection from B to A, or the normal section. These two azimuths are not the same, are not the same. And the, and the difference can be computed simply by this formula. Not that, for computing this, you need information about the ellipsoid or ellipsoid's parameters. Also, the avimet and curve length from point N to B. Geodesic is the shortest distance between two points on the surface of the ellipsoid. So consider that we no, neither the normal section or the, its reverse form, which has been shown by blue and red here in the figure, they do not coincide. They do not coincide, and none of them is the shortest distance. Actually, the shortest distance is, is something between them. It's a curve with two curvature or torsion. All points at geodesic satisfy the Clairaut equation. Clairaut equation is this here, and the C here is, con is called Clairaut's constant. So N is the uh, radius of prime vertical, phi, the, ge the geodetic latitude, and alpha a, B, E means, E means ellipsoid. A, B is the geodetic azimuth. Geodetic azimuth is defined as the angle from the local meridian and the transient to the geodesic. Because it's a curve, we always need to define or use a tangent to, so that we can define an angle between two lines. So it's maybe it's more correct to say that the tangent to the local meridian and the tangent to the geodesic. So we can also comp compute the difference between the geodesic azimuth, geodetic azimuth, and also the azimuth to the section, uh, normal section. And the difference is here. And again, Alpha AB is the azimuth, and SAB is the curve length, oh, curve length between two points. One third of difference between the direct and reverse normal section azimuths. Notes about geodesic. Any meridian is a geodesic. Any two points that we select along the equator is also geodesic, except for the equator, 
No other parallel. Circa is geodesic. Geodesic on the ellipsoid is not a plane curve. That is not generated by intersection of a plane with the ellipsoid. The geodesic has double curvature, curvature or torsion. It can be shown that the principal normal of the geodesic curve is also the normal to the ellipsoid at any point of the geodesic, but it is not the case for the normal section. Normal section, the only normal to the curve is the first point that we consider the vertical plane or the normal plane for creating the normal, normal section. Now you can see the references that I have used for this lecture. You can download them from the links provided here.